hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so here we have c square minus 1 divided by c minus 1 is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem uh, for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move toward the solution of this problem from first method and here in the first method you see that c minus 1 is divided by left hand side so that we move this c minus 1 to the right hand side so when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 1 and it will be written as c square minus 1 is equals to 1 multiplied by c minus 1 and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is c square minus 1 is equals to here we have 1 times of c minus 1 is equals to c minus 1 and now further in the next step uh, we move uh, all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side uh, so it will be written as you see that um, the c is positive term uh, when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative and minus one be the negative term when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes positive and this whole equation is equals to zero and now further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as you see that this is positive one this is negative one are cancelled out by each other and we get here the remaining values are now from here we get c square minus from here we get c only and this whole equation is equals to zero and further in the next step you see here uh, both of these two terms involve c uh, so that we will take common c from here and when we take common c we get the remaining values are from here we get c only and minus after taking common this c uh, we get here a one only and, and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here in the next step uh, we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c equals to 0 and the second case is we write c minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is the our first root of the given equation and now from here we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will become here plus 1 and this is the second root of the given equation so you see here from first method we get these are the two roots of the given equation and now here in the next step we need to verify that which of the root are solution or which of the root are extraneous root so for verification of uh, these roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is c square minus 1 divided by c minus 1 is equals to 1 and in this side we will be verify c equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify c is equals to 1 so here uh, first we verify c equals to 0 so for this we substitute c equals to 0 into the left hand side so when we put it here it will becomes 0 square minus 1 divided by 0 minus 1 is equals to 1 or not this is the our claim so you know about that a zero square equals to zero and zero minus one uh, becomes here minus one divided by this is also zero minus one and zero minus one becomes minus one is equals to one or not you see here clearly minus one and minus this are gone and we get here one equals to one so this shows that the value of c equals to zero is satisfied our given question statement and now here in the same pattern we need to verify the second value of c so when we put this value of c here it will becomes uh, 1 square minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 is equals to 1 or not this is the upper claim again you see here we have 1 square becomes 1 and 1 minus 1 becomes 0 divided by this 1 minus 1 is also becomes 0 is equals to 1 or not so here you see that in the left hand side we have uh, this is the 0 by 0 form or in other words we say that it is indeterminate form so if our left hand side is indeterminate form or in other words we say that it is undefined 
uh, if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal this concludes about that c equals to 1 is not satisfied our given question statement uh, so we conclude about that c equals to 1 uh, be the extraneous root of the given equation because uh, you know about that the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root so here we have c equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement so finally we conclude about that the solution set of this problem is c equals to 0 so this is the only one solution which we get here from first method and now we again solve this problem from second method so in a second method uh, we need uh, to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is c square minus 1 divided by c minus 1 is equals to 1 so uh, here our second method be the very straightforward method and here we quickly get the roots of this equation so that uh, here we need uh, to use this nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b then you see here we write this one as one square so uh, uh, we need to apply this nice formula to the numerator of the above term uh, so after applying this formula it will be written as c minus one times of c plus one divided by c minus one is equals to one so you see here this c minus 1 and this c minus 1 are cancelled out by each other and we obtain here c plus 1 is equals to 1. So further we move this plus 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as c equals to 1 minus 1 and you clearly see here we get c equals to 0. So in the second method we get only one root of the given equation <clears throat> and in the first method we already verify that this value of c is satisfied our given question statement so finally we conclude about that the solution set of this problem is c equals to zero so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos